Hey guys, Davey here from PhoneBluff.com and in this video we're doing a walkthrough or overview of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. I'll go ahead and turn on the device because one of the first differences that you'll notice on version 4.1 is the new boot up animation. So I'll go ahead and let you guys look at that. Also while this is loading up, I'll let you know that I do feel like the boot up time is a little bit faster. Not something that's super dramatic, um, but I have noticed that it seems like about five seconds faster than it was before. Um, there he goes, the uh, new boot up animation. You can see it's just a little X in the middle of the screen. Before it would take up the whole screen. Uh, now it's just a little X. I'm not sure if I like this one more, if I like the old one more, but I don't really mind the difference really. I'm not really booting up my phone all that much. So you can see it already booted up, so it definitely is a little bit quicker. Um, next thing that you notice that's different on 4.1 is the lock screen. So as soon as I tap my finger on this, you can see uh, you actually have a new option, which is Google Now. You could unlock like you did before and go to the camera. And when I move my finger around, you can see those little white dots that kind of follow my finger. So looks pretty nice too. I'll go ahead and unlock this guy. And uh, we'll go ahead and show you the version number really quick. So I'll go to settings and go down to about phone. And you can see I am on version 4.1. And of course, if I tap this guy like four times, it takes me to this thing. And uh, if I press and hold on it, basically see a whole bunch of jelly beans letting you know that you are running Android Jelly Bean. You can move these guys around, so pretty cool. I'm just gonna back out of here, not, that's nothing big. Um, next thing that you'll notice on the Galaxy Nexus is the uh, just the general OS speed. So I'll go ahead and tap the uh, start menu or the uh, application drawer, and you can just see it doesn't lag at all. Before, I remember my phone would stutter a little bit, and I would complain about it you know, in my videos a lot, but anyway, seems to be a lot faster. Um, just scrolling through is a lot faster. And uh, you can see also that the widgets have a different background now. Uh, before it was actually just the icon on a flat black uh, background. Well, now it's a little gray box uh, surrounding it. I feel like it does make it a little look a little bit cleaner. There's some new widgets like the uh, Google Post over here, Google Search. You have a new messaging widget. Um, so a few new ones. I haven't really downloaded any apps on this phone just yet, other than uh, Engadget, Chrome, and uh, another one. I forgot what it was, but anyway. Um, that's that. We'll go ahead and go to the uh, wallpaper so you can see when I press and hold or long press on the home screen. Uh, it's not that vertical window, it's a more of a boxy one and I, I could choose a wallpaper. So before, on version 4.02 at least, uh, the wallpapers would lag like crazy. So now I'll just go ahead and uh, add this. So live wallpapers lag. Now you can see it's nice and smooth. So definitely something that you know I like on here. Um, let's see, the next thing I want to show you is Google Now. So I'll go ahead and lock the screen. And you can see when I unlock it, I can go straight up to what they call Google Now. Basically, it's uh, a whole bunch of cards that, you know, it's showing you what the phone or what the phone thinks that you'll want to see at that moment. So you can see before I searched for Laguna Hills weather and it shows it. Um, I haven't really used this as much, so it doesn't have that much information to go off of. But I hit show sample cards just to show you what it would look like. And you'd have things like this, like uh, weather, you'd have traffic information. So if you're going to work every day eventually it'll catch your pattern and realize that you know you'd want to see what the traffic is going home so pretty cool um you know sports scores and things like that definitely something that you know is nice on here um i'll go ahead and hit a sample card so you can see this is for a appointment uh so if you have something in the calendar it'll show up if you uh, want to look at traffic you can see 18 minutes to go home just little examples here and that's what will show up once you start using this more and more. So definitely a cool option. Also you could get straight to that uh, from the home screen so you don't have to lock the screen to get to it. You actually tap the home button right here and swipe up and there you go. So definitely cool. I um, also want to show you the new voice search or voice action. So I'll just tap on this guy and do a quick search. When was Martin Luther King born? And you can see now. So it has a little voice now, which sounds pretty good compared to like S-Voice. I feel like S-Voice is a little bit more robotic. But anyway, you can see it's more Siri-like in this sense because it shows a picture, it shows a date within the window before we just open up the browser. And on some searches, it'll still open up the browser. But like for example, I'll do weather. Weather in Irvine, California. It's 73 degrees and partly cloudy in Irvine. Here's the forecast for the next few days. Okay, never mind. That one opened up in here. But anyway, you get the idea. So I get asked different questions like, How tall is Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan is six feet six inches tall. So you can see how uh, fast it is, too. Um, you can ask different questions, too. Like, uh, for example, Is it going to rain tomorrow? No, rain 
is not expected tomorrow in Laguna Hills. The forecast for tomorrow is 86 degrees and mostly sunny. So that's definitely really cool. Um, definitely it seems like Siri uh, like feature. So I definitely like it. It's really fast too. So pretty cool. Um, the next thing I want to show you is uh, the how the widgets and the shortcuts move around. So for example, let's say I have this shortcut. I want to move it around. I could actually uh, go over here or go in between my apps and it'll kind of bounce them around to get to where I want. So pretty cool. I know that HTC did that with their uh, Sense UI. Um, another thing that is new is the widgets automatically resize. And I know that uh, Touch was actually did this with their UI, but I'll go ahead and uh, pull out a resizable widget. So I'll just do, uh, which one should I do? We'll do uh, Gmail. So I'll just go to Gmail. Tap it on here, tap my email account really quick. All right, um, you can see like it'll actually resize. I don't know if this one's actually gonna resize. Oh yeah, it does, okay. Let's make it bigger first so that way I can actually resize it because that was the smallest it was that. So anyway, I'll go over and uh, let's say I wanna set it over here. See how it just resizes like that? So pretty cool. Um, makes it a lot easier to manage your home screen. So I do like that feature. Um, let's see what else. There is also, oh, predictive text on the keyboard. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at my notes right now. So um, I'll open up the keyboard and now when I type on here, it'll actually try to predict the next word. So I'll say this, okay, that didn't work. I pressed the home button. This is, see how this, it shows me the next word it thinks I'm gonna type. So I can actually type the first time I have been sent to, you get the idea. Um, the more you use the keyboard, the better it'll be able to predict your common phrases. So another cool thing, so I mean, is this really uh, something that you have to use for a while before you could really take advantage of all of the features in here, but I'll go ahead and go out of there. Um, another thing about the keyboard is the uh, dictation keyboard. So it actually works offline now. So for example, what are you doing? And uh, this will actually work. You could also pause it. You see, you see this little option right here on the bottom left. This is actually to bring the uh, keyboard down. So cool little option to have right there. Um, wasn't there before, so that's definitely new and definitely welcome too, because I do like that. Um, let's see if I'm missing anything. Um, oh, the uh, notification bar. So you can see the notification bar does look new. Uh, you can see it shows the time a lot bigger. It shows the date right here. The settings little button got a little bit bigger. So a lot easier to uh, tap on it now, get to everything a little bit faster. Uh, I wanna go ahead and uh, show you how notifications look. I'll go ahead and um, I'll just download some apps really quick. So I'll go to my apps, download some of my recent apps because I just flashed this guy so I don't have anything on here really. Uh, let's do Square really quick. And by the way, I did a review on this on Phonebuff if you guys are interested. And let's do ES File Explorer because I definitely am gonna want that. So anyway, we went ahead and downloaded those. So you can see the notification bar. Looks the same uh, as far as when it's closed, but when you open it up, it's gonna look a little bit different. So I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, you can see now that the notifications are actually a little bit separated. They also have that gray background, kind of like the widgets do. And uh, to clear it out, you're gonna press this button right here. So instead of uh, saying clear, you just press this guy and boom, it takes it right off the screen. Uh, I'll go back to the multitasking really quick because I wanna show you once and for all the uh, OS speed and you can just see Dang, I don't have any enough open. I'm just gonna open up a whole bunch of apps really quick. So calculator, we'll open up uh, ES File Explorer. And uh, we'll open up, let's see, we'll do gallery. So there you go. Now I'll tap the multitasking. You can just see it just flies through the uh, OS. There's no lag. Before I, I noticed a lot more lag. Now when I wanna close my apps, it just does, does it really, really quick. But Anyway, that's pretty much it. Oh, you know what? Last thing I wanna show you is the when you press the power key, uh, it looks a little bit different. Now you have the option to turn your phone on vibrate or silent right from here. So looks a little bit different, like I said. I'll go ahead and turn it off. Nothing really different about the uh, turn off. Actually, I'm not even gonna turn it off because there's nothing different. But anyway, that's pretty much it for me. Um, not that big of differences in the uh, new update. It wasn't something like, you know, like uh, revolutionary, like ice cream sandwich was, but it was an incremental uh, update and definitely welcome. Can't wait till this guy comes out on phones like the Galaxy S3 to really see what he could do with that hardware. But anyway, that's it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.